let's talk about getting your peristaltic pump set up. First, take the included silicone extension tube and cut it to your desired length. This will depend on your setup, whether you're pumping liquid into a container nearby or using it in a larger system. Once you've cut the tube, unscrew the pump head caps and feed the extension tubes through the openings. Secure the tubes with the pump head fasteners and screw the caps back on. Just make sure not to over tighten them. Next, connect the in tube to the container where you'll be pulling liquid from and the out tube to the container where the liquid will be pumped. You can place the pump on a desktop near your containers, or if you want a more permanent setup, you can mount it to a wall using the included wood screws and anchors. The pump can be mounted in any orientation, giving you flexibility depending on your space and needs. For powering the pump, simply connect the power adapter to the pump and plug it into an AC outlet. When powered on, the pump will default to speed level 6, but you can adjust the flow rate by pressing the power button to cycle through the levels. The pump offers speeds from 21 milliliters per minute all the way up to 210 milliliters per minute. If you want to turn the pump off, just hold the power button for two seconds and it will stop. The peristaltic pump is also designed to connect to our smart controllers via the included UIS extension cord. Once connected to a UIS controller, the controller takes over the settings, allowing you to control everything through the app. This adds even more automation to your system, making it easy to monitor and adjust your parameters remotely without needing to interact directly with the pump. 